This is Saint-Lizier, one of the most beautiful hilltop villages of the Pyrenees, a region of stunning rivers and small farms. When I travel through this region on a Saturday morning, I love to visit the farmer's market of saint Giron. La rotisserie has become a great feature in many of the good markets of France, and this one is especially good. There's some roast farm chicken, there's some quails, there's some cats of pork, and there's rabbits and duck and everything else. So good. The local bush, the forest, the countryside are full of flowers and wildflowers, and the bees are a wonderful time creating some beautiful honey. And the honey of the Pyrenees is one of the best in France. There's some chestnut honey, there's some wild blueberries, and there's honey of the bush, like this one. One of the staff foods of the region is the superb ham, and the black pigs of Bigorre are unique in France. Only 30 years ago, this special breed almost became extinct because it was too expensive as they took too long to breed. Only 25 pigs can be raised per hectare of rich land. Lionel Darnay from the Farm des Perilles raises about 200 black pigs per year. The babies stay inside in the warm shed until they become young adults. Then they are left to wander freely in small woods and paddocks. Donc euh, ils sont restés ils sont là depuis l'âge de 4 mois. Ils vont rester jusqu'à 12 mois et ils ont mangé de l'herbe et des céréales qu'on leur emporte euh, tous les 3 jours. The pork chop is the most popular cat, but the ham is the pièce de résistance. Lionel's dad is very skillful at carving it, and finally, I can test it. So what is important to appreciate the ham is to uh, cut it very thinly, then put it on your tongue and push it up to get the flavor, to let it melt, and there must be about one third of fat, and then it is the ultimate. So good. This rustic snail dish with spinach and walnut butter is appreciated by French people of all ages. In a bowl with butter, I add some chopped shallots, chopped garlic, chopped parsley, chopped walnuts, a little salt and pepper, and the juice of half a lemon. I combine this batter well with a fork, flatten it between two layers of baking paper, and place it on ice to harden. The idea is to chill the batter so it is easier for me to put it evenly on the snails. Next, I mix a little cream into one cup of cooked spinach. I spoon a little spinach into four gratin dishes and top each with 12 cooked snails. I cover the snails with a little herb butter and sprinkle generously with breadcrumbs. I like to bake it in a hot oven for about five minutes. These escargots au beurre d'herbe et de noix smell wonderful and taste even better. This is Cancale, one of the most beautiful villages of the northern coast of Brittany. And on our next journey, we are going to discover the great local seafood. Thank you.